Hey guys, today I want to talk about a common tactic many vendors use when a card spikes up in price. A lot of times when you order a card, it actually didn't spike up in price, and it's because you need the card. You ordered a playset of it. You're not ordering a hundred or fifty of it. But what a store can do is they can hold your order, see what happens with the card, then say the card is out of stock. Sorry about that. We will give you a refund if you order at the higher price. Now, this is something that Tro and Toad has recently done, but many vendors, many, many vendors have done this in the past. This is pretty much a tactic used by, I would say, 50-50 from what I can tell, especially pre-orders and especially on eBay. So a vendor goes ahead, holds the card, card goes up to you know $10, and then they say they're out of stock, and right in that moment, it turns out their website has stock. And the reason they do this is it gives them an excuse not to ship the cards at that lower rate. It saves them money and it's kind of like speculating, but you're the house. You have all the cards because you can either say, oh, well, the card went down. Now I'll sell it to you for sure. I'm going to send it out to you for sure. Or imagine like an individual doing this, making a trade and saying, hey, you know what? This is a trade. Um, you know, I'll come back in a week from now and, and then I'll give you a trade. Don't worry about it. Then the card spikes up in price and like, ah, you know, that trade's not for me. But if you want to trade at this higher price, I'm more than happy to do that. But if the card goes down, you're, they will still hold you to that original trade. So that's kind of the game vendors are playing. And it's because that there's a gap in the shipping time that allows them to see movement. Um, and not it's not always speculators. I know a lot of you will say, oh, speculators buying these cards and hyping these cards up. Whenever I see like a place or less, I know it's pretty much not a speculator because it's not even worth your time or shipping to do that um, if you're trying to make money. So yeah, it happens a lot. I just want to bring this attention uh, to everyone's attention. This is something that happens even with very big stores like Tro and Toad. It's not... Uh, just eBay. It's not just small vendors on TCG Player. It's pretty much anyone making, trying to make an extra few bucks at their reputation. And some people's reputations aren't worth that extra few bucks. So that's a trade-off. Trone Toad. I haven't heard anything too negative about them until uh, this came out. But it's worth calling them out because uh, you called them out once. I guarantee you, they won't repeat it again.